Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Zina, a full-time dentist. You have selected this video because you want to learn about what are supernumerous teeth. But before we continue, make sure to smash down the subscribe button in order to encourage me to do more videos. Let's start now. Supernumerary teeth, as the name suggests, having an extra number of teeth. The normal number of teeth for the adults is 32 teeth with the third molar, meaning that 16 teeth per jaw, whereas for the children is 20 teeth, so 10 teeth in each jaw. We have three different types of supernumerary teeth, which are mesiodense, paramolar, and distomolar. What is paramolar? is a supernumerary molar that is usually small and rudimentary, most commonly situated either buccal or palatal to one of the maxillary molars. As the name suggests, para means around, so it is around the molar. The cause is genetics. This is an OPG showing that we have an extra premolar that is located between the uh, premolars and one that can be seen between the second premolar and the first molar. And can you tell me down in the comment section which quadrant am I speaking about? Is it the first, second, third, fourth quadrant? Secondly is mesiodense, is a supernumerary tooth that is present in the midline between the two central incisors. As the name suggests, mesio means middle, so dense means tooth, uh, middle of the tooth, because it is as well, genetics plays an important role. The treatment is extraction only if needed, if the patient is complaining of any pain, etc., then we can easily remove it. This is an OPG showing that we have a mesiodense located between the two central incisors. Lastly is the distal molar, which is a supernumerary tooth that is located distal to the third molar. As the name suggests, distal means distal to the third molar, because as well, genetics and the treatment is extraction only if needed. This is an OPG showing that we have two distal molars or bilateral distal molar that is located in the first and second quadrant. Thank you all for watching my video. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to press the like button and comment down for my question and smash down the subscribe button in order to encourage me to do more videos.